Hi and welcome back to Joe Talks Cars and welcome to a very exciting video. Today we're in Thirsk at Twisted Automotive. We're going to have a little tour around and show you what Twisted has to offer. Many of you on my channel are only interested in Porsches and I thought this was an ideal opportunity to break away from the norm and bring you something totally different to the channel. I'm super excited to come here to the old cinema have some coffee and look round some amazing cars. So let's head on in and see what they've got. Right, so we're here inside Twisted with the founder, Charles. He's going to give us a bit of a tour around and talk to us about all things Twisted. Good so, to see you. Yeah. yeah thanks, Gwyn. Um, the old cinema in Thirsk, uh, we uh, renovated this place about two years ago. Uh, it's an old ATS building. Did a bit of digging on the history. It was once a cinema in 1914. Up until uh, the mid-30s, it was a, a theatre and cinema. Perfect, cool space to show off what we do it's a it's not a showroom it's not a car dealership it's just a you know a bit of a hangout really yeah uh this is a vehicle here which i said we'd never build it's a replica of my own um bahama gold td5 the drive lines properly sorted beautifully finished on the inside probably a 700 hour build wow but to me that's the pinnacle of td5 um, it was in Salcombe for the summer, where we have the marine business, hence all yeah. Salcombe. But it's a, a, a real pure, um, honest driving experience. Mm -hmm. But loads of power, amazing brakes, brilliant drive line, proper suspension. Wheels are cool as well. It's a Defender through and through. That's a replica of, uh, back in the 70s, there was a wheel called the Ro Ross Style. So that's our version of the Ross Style. Right, yeah. Uh, it's an 18 by 9 though, so we can put a modern tyre on it. Yeah. Um, Which is absolutely key, isn't it? The old Series 3 door, this split door, I, you know, I'm, I'm proud of these. The, these are um, a rattly, loose, awful, the, the top comes off, you know, they're, <laughs> they're a, a very basic door. Um, our guys spend hours and, and hours and hours making sure they're shut properly. So I think the important thing is, D Defender to us, it's something which we are super passionate about. We know the vehicles, we love the vehicles, we've owned them a long time, we've always lived with them, and there's a certain charm to a Defender, and I think you have to be super careful when modifying them, not to try to make them something they're not. Mm. This is still a Defender, it's yeah. still very practical, very usable, but properly sorted at all levels. Um, so I did this one with Solcom in mind, it's a, it's a beach car really, you know. Yeah. So our little seat, um, again, you know, it's, it's in fact, we built, we made this a few years ago, and um, we had to cut up the rear tub of a Defender. And unbeknown to me, the price shot up. And having cut it up, I found out there are about five grand now to buy these tubs. <laughs> so I thought I wish I hadn't. But so there won't be many of these it's around. It's a cool, cool <laughs> seat. So TD5 again, another. It's what we call born. Um, we take a, a an original TD5 and completely rework it. Galvanise the chassis, powder coat, all the underpinnings. Our V8 drive line in it, 200 odd horsepower. Whoa. But inside, very subtle, very honest. Um, to me, it's kind of pinnacle of, of Defender yeah. in its purest form. And it's one of our chassis here. So that sort of illustrates some of the work we do. Yeah. So that's a galvanized chassis coated in our particular RAL code. That's our suspension, our brakes all our drive line that's the that's the 500 horsepower petrol <laughs> that's the eight speed auto all these machine components are ours they're all part of the conversion um defender was never intended to carry that much power no they came out of the factory with 120 this, horsepower or something. this is the modern v8 that's the lt1 the general motors we call it the tv8 mm -hmm. um phenomenal thing to drive arguably overpowered yeah but it's a nice thing um, to have, though. Yeah, an absolute weapon. Yeah. 
So the diffs, for example, it's a, a pegged torque bias differential, four-pin diff, the two-pin standard tends to break. Um, the shafts are upgraded, CVs are upgraded, drive flanges are upgraded, clearly discs, calipers, anti-roll bars, bushings, dampers, springs. Um, you know, all the engine mounts are ours. Wow. Uh, exhaust, you know, this huge amount of work. Even just before you've level. even got what would, would resemble a car, before yeah. you've even got to that point. Yeah. Huge amount of work that goes into this. They all have a reason, albeit there is not a lot of logic in buying a particularly expensive Defender, but there's always a purpose. Our customers aren't whimsical. They don't walk in and say, I'll have five. You know, we're not that business. Every customer will take the time deciding what they need it to do, how they need it to do it, what, you know, what is the purpose. Mm. This one was to shift um, fuel for an aeroplane <laughs> from the guy's house to, uh, to his moor. He thought it through, he wanted it to do certain things. Yeah, but yeah, 500 horsepower V8, six-speed auto, <laughs> air suspension, big brakes. Yeah. Electric steps, he wanted it to be comfortable. Seats are positioned particularly to suit his stature. Um, and he had a tray in the back to put his 500 litres of wow. plane fuel in. It's incredible. Um, Absolutely incredible. Yeah. They all serve a purpose somewhere along yeah. the line. Uh, and then in here, mainly, we've got... Um, a lot of stock. Yes, this is some of the unmodified, out-the-factory stock that we've sat on for sort of six years now. Yeah. Um, so they've just been in, in dry storage for, for all that time. Mm. And these will eventually pass through the process and all become twisted vehicles. Wow. What's the story with the boat? So Where's this come from? <laughs> created Twisted Marine two years ago. Um, it started out, I wanted to bring a particular product back from the States, 80s and 90s Scarab. So they're a 38, 43 foot, big V8 powered um, Miami Vice boat. Yeah. Really? Uh, in, 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 in the States, they're kind of at the end of their life. They've mainly been on fresh water, um, but they're probably seen now as being a little bit throwaway. But for me, it's a cult 80s, 90s powerboat. Mm. So I wanted to bring one back and do something <laughs> with it. And in the process of thinking that through, we ended up buying a marine engineering business in Salcombe. <laughs> We've now bought another one in Brighton. We created Twisted Marine and actually, while we brought the Scarab back, we've actually not started it yet because we've been redeveloping this, the Axa Par 25. Uh, we've also done a, a range of um, high performance offshore ribs. So we've got a range of twisted marine craft now, new. We have the storage facility, we have launching facility, we have servicing and, and, and repairs at both sites. Mm. And in fact, we're about to start on the Scarab. Um, so that'll yeah. be the winter project for the guys. Wow. Well, that's a it's a good looking thing, and you paint it in the same colour as. And it's Bahama Gold. Yes, you know, so yeah. you can tow it with it, that. It just had to be, didn't and it? That will just look just um, incredible, won't it? But that's um, faster than the stock boat, more economical than the stock boat, cooler. Yeah. Um, but again, everything's been thought through. We haven't done anything for the sake of doing it. So it follows the same twisted light philosophy as well. Yeah, it's got everything's going to serve a purpose. There's, yeah. no, there's no point modifying for the sake of modifying. Um, you know, seating, we've crafted some suspension seats in. Yeah. Because the stand, standard seat setup just didn't suit engine position. We've got yeah. it on a set of lifters, so the engine sits slightly higher. Therefore, you've got less gearbox in the water, therefore <laughs> less drag, therefore more yeah. speed, better economy. Yeah. Um, we've brought a lot of motorsport and automotive thinking onto it so we've got paddles on the um, on the helm the paddles ah. alter the trim of the engine yeah. rather than a gear change as yeah. they would be in a car um, different nav gear different trim different paint different decking different trailer um, stunning thing very unexpected day we've had good <laughs> unexpected but brilliant good yeah I think there's probably a misconception that we're a little bit unapproachable and you know, the reality is we just love what we do. Yeah. And uh, I hope that's what you've seen. I have, uh, you know. genuinely, like, the hospitality from coming in and everyone's like, oh, what time are you coming here? We'll make sure someone's here for you and show you around. And I'm like, Good. normally, you go to a showroom and they go, 
some cars over there. Yeah. And you walk around them and you can't open the doors. Or, you know, and it's a bit funny. So here it's been really, really nice. Good. But yeah, thank you so much for showing me around. No, it thank still you. has to do everything the Defender does, but be electric. So wow. from the transfer box back, it's all normal Defender, except it's upgraded. And um, from the transfer box forwards, other than a prop to the front axle, which is standard, um, it, it, it's just a motor and a set of batteries. Everything's housed within the chassis rails. Nothing's external. There's no loss of you know, loss of departure angle, no change of approach angle. Ramp over angle's the same. The De Defender, in reality, is a county car. Yeah. You know, a bit like you know you said this morning with the Fiat 500. It'll do 140 mile, 150 mile. Yeah. It's enough for what you're using it, it for. It is, yeah. You're never going to use it to go down the motorway, and it's not a, it's not a, um, it's not a long distance cruiser. Every car serves a purpose, and this, you know, for me, this would be a perfect daily. Mm. Living eight miles from work, blast them out back home, chuck it on yeah. charge again. You know, it's it's ideal. Yeah. It's a huge and you still amount of fun. you're still not losing that Land Rover feel about no, you it. You put three and a half ton behind it. Yeah. Tow a trailer, that's it. do everything a Defender does, uh, and in some instances. It does it a bit better as well. It does pull though, doesn't it? Pulls well, it's a defender. Yeah. You know, they were never designed to be fast, but. Speed is 60 miles per hour. I think that's it's bloody good. Very, very good. Yeah. Normal defender doesn't talk to yeah. you, they just bite you. Yeah. So, and you know, when you're giving something extra power, you need to. You can't just give it a lot of power. No. The, the, the whole rest is going in a ditch, aren't they? Yeah, that's it. Um, cool. So in a little bit of an unexpected turn, we've come out in the electric Defender, which you'll have just seen, and we're going to get a tour round the workshop by Katie from Twisted. We very much work on a one-man, one-ramp basis. So um, each of our technicians have their own individual ramps, and they work on a vehicle from start to finish. Wow. Um, so Nick on this ramp, um, he's our longest serving technician. So he is literally working on this car from the moment it rolls in until the moment it meets its customer. The only time someone else will work on it is when we get to a final PDI really? stage. They um, must get really attached to the cars. Very attached. They I would. All... I wouldn't want to give it over. I wouldn't want to sell it. <laughs> they all know which ones they've built. Like yeah. going back years and years, they all know wow. who's, who's built what. And then in each one, there's a little secret sticker and they all have a different place where they put really? their secret sticker with the name on to show That's um, who's built each one. So yeah. yeah. That's so cool. So all these, these are all in the same sort of stage, are they, in this room? Uh, yeah, so, so varying stages, really. This one um, is a, a vehicle that we're building for our own stock, so a, a specification that um, the sales team have put together. Um, this is our Lincoln Green, um, so classic Range Rover colour. Very similar in terms of uh, breaking the vehicle down, um, mm. galvanising, coating the chassis, wow. um, and then 2.3 engine into there. And then you can, this one um, is quite a good one to look at, to look at a bit of a, an interior strip. So Chris mm -hmm. is working on this one for stock. Um, it'll keep its original 2.2 engine, yeah. but he's just on with soundproofing in there. So it's been fully stripped down. It's a 90 van, um, but we are going to put some rear seats and rear windows in. So we've already cut those in. Um, yeah. He's got some brackets in for his rear seats, but he is um, just currently on soundproofing. Uh, lots of soundproofing goes in, um, but also just panel alignment. Uh, they're mm -hmm. all little things um, that make a really big difference. Yeah. And then this one um, is uh, an older build. Um, it's just come in um, for some little bits of service works. Um, with a, a newer customer than the original one we built for, but we see that quite a lot. Yeah. Um, so they might come in and see someone could have a car built by you and they could come in and say, actually, I would like, I don't know, like all this section putting on a winch, putting on, and you can just do that. Yeah. Um, so we can, we, you know, we'll do anything from wheels, tyre suspension to then a full strip down and um, engine changes. And sometimes people do that in lots of little stages yeah. and come back in for them. This is a serious spec though, this one. <laughs> it, it <laughs> With is, With winch yeah. on it and everything. Yeah, some good really wide cool. arches. Wide, wide arches, yeah. Yeah. No, that's really nice. And then another little delivery mileage one, um, which was from the 240 that we purchased at the end of Defender Production. Um, so Johnny... So a very, very late one then. Yes, yeah. yeah. Yep, um, Johnny, uh, another senior tech of, of ours, um, is just putting the specification on for this customer, um, and this will be going out for a pre-Christmas delivery. Oh, so it'll go from this to a delivery at Christmas. 
Yeah. So it'll be a lot of hours put in before then. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's got his work cut out. I know. Every, everyone wants them for Christmas. No this pressure. is the thing. So, what yeah. a Christmas present, though. L that yeah, is. a little Defender Christmas present. And then um, Mark down this end, so Mark's our technical lead. Um, and there Mark, it, this is a customer uh, supplied vehicle. Um, this one's also having the 2.3 petrol engine put in um, and a full defined spec. So our defined spec is touching all the key areas that we believe defines a twisted build. Um, so it's full, fully stripped out um, and the interior is getting trimmed and then we'll start building back up again. Thank you very much for showing us around. No problem. Right, well that just about concludes our time here at Twisted Automotive. I just want to say a massive thank you for Twisted for not only showing me around but taking me out in cars as well. When we came here today, I never expected to be going out in anything. It was more of just a walk around the garage and show you what it's about. So I really appreciate the team for how friendly they've been. It's been an amazing day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for plenty more videos like this one to come. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.